hands-on workshop with five CSOs in Trinidad and Tobago working on environmental issues. Um, we're working on a project with Canari and BHP Billiton to build their capacity to work on climate change adaptation. So we spent this week talking about the concepts of vulnerability and resilience, focusing on ecosystem-based adaptation and community-based adaptation, and we had a really great week. We had a chance to apply these principles in a local community and um, help the CSOs get started with planning their adaptation projects. to understand the whole language and the narrative for climate change and how to better communicate our ideas and look at things such as exposure and sensitivity, vulnerability. I mean, it was very important for us to know how to assess some of these things to plan and actually work um, in climate change. inspiring is the amount of research that has been done in Trinidad and Tobago through state agencies and the amount of lack of sharing of that knowledge. Um, you know, I thought we were coming into this green kind of, hey, what's going on with climate change in our country and we might be pioneering some type of movement, but that's not the case. So now I'm, next step is really to get, you know, information from agencies so that we can advance our projects much quicker without all this wonderful duplication or replication of data. It's already been collected and we now need to build on what's here. I've been to climate change workshops before. I think this is the one uh, that I'm leaving with the most clarity and understanding because you see, normally climate change, uh, when we talk about it, we use a lot of terms, you know, um, a lot of terms and jargon and sometimes we use them interchangeably and so forth and nobody's really clear as to what it means but having gone through these four days this intense four days has allowed me to clarify in my mind a lot of the terms and concepts even learn new ones right and how they apply to the science right so in, in, in my work of course I'll be writing proposals and so forth and I'm now able to better use the language within the proposals, right, so in a correct way. So it took it from that very abstract place and, you know, concretized it in my mind. And what also helped in that process was the actual fieldwork, whereby various teams were sent out to do a, a, a climate change vulnerability assessment of Salibia. And that was, you know, the practical, nothing can be practical experience. to then educate and spread awareness to the youth of Trinidad and Tobago in relation to climate change. So it was a really positive experience. 